Jerry Cataret versus Levon Saganashvili. I see Jerry winning. You don't top roll a presser, so Jerry will press. He's slick, can press or shoulder roll at the last minute. He's got the ultimate outside-inside game. Levan is crazy strong, very fast for his size, and I love how he gets into that sloppy side pressure. But any outside move against a presser will get you pushed off the table and into elbow foul trouble if you try to top roll a presser. You have to be deeply committed to go inside on a press. I think Levan's cardio and endurance are suspect, based on his Erms match. Jerry will put Levan under more stress than Erms did. If Levan is like Thor, Spider-Man, and Mike Tyson combined and stops Jerry's initial hit, it's a bad day for Jerry. But it's a best of seven. They're going to argue about restarts, slips, etc. I think that alone will put me to sleep. If they pulled in my garage, Levan would be a 70-30 favorite. But at East versus West, especially in America, Jerry's a 70-30 favorite. I think Jerry will win. Brian Shaw versus Eddie Hall. Brian is from USA and he's a hero of mine. I've watched his strongman videos. He has many advantages, size, reach. If he puts his shoulder in, he can beat Eddie. I think Eddie is too short. I don't think Eddie will be able to pull off a wrist grip slip side pressure press on Brian. Brian could to Eddie like Devin did against Michael and Jerry. Just close them down at center, just with his hand pressure. Brian and Eddie are two talented athletes, one coached by a coach, the other by an athlete. If you're a superstar athlete, you might not be a good coach. Your natural ability skews your perspective. Eddie has a great coach in Neil. Neil understands Brian's advantages. I think Neil is coaching Eddie to thwart Brian's height, but strong men tend to grip too hard. Beginners do that, blowing up their forearms. It'll be hard for these two, with their grip strength. It's an interesting match with potential, but let's be real. Sandris Shedis versus Rustam Babayev. I think Rustam will win. Sandris's top roll against Chance Shaw was impressive, but he isn't the top roller Arakli is. Rustam is a power-based arm wrestler that makes his opponents cool down. Top rolling is better than hooking, but Rustam hooked Arakli once and beat him with side pressure. I'm worried about the height difference. Sandris was impressive against Chance and Lachlan. These predictions are tough for me. If you beat me, I root for you. It means I was better than I thought. If I beat you, I root for you. It makes me better. And I haven't pulled Sandris, so I'm not picking him. Matt Mask versus Marcio Barboza. It's a tough one. They had to have pulled each other in wall because they're in the same weight class. I think Marcio is the favorite. Matt Mask has been on a tear lately. He's really good, but he's one dimensional. Marcio can hook, top roll, and press. It wouldn't surprise me if either one wins 3 to 0. They are that close. I think it's a 40-40 match. The refereeing will decide 20%. Marcio is an elbow foul generating machine. That will cost him at least one match, and you can't afford mistakes at this level. Marcio has power and speed, but those elbow fouls... Kevin Palco versus Joseph Maranto. Kevin Palco is coming up. He's one of our lighter guys and doing well. He'll break out soon, but the depth in lighter weights is deep. It takes beginners three to four years to become national level if they're over 220 pounds and four to six years if they're under 200 pounds. The lighter weight classes are much tougher. Joseph Maranto, Kevin's opponent at King of the Table, is very strong. I've seen him beat Larry Wheels in practice. John Brzenk praises him a lot, and John knows arm wrestling. One of those two will be a top 176 pounder in five years.